What up everyone, welcome to Let's Play Retro Games and today I'm going to show you how to update the rosters on 2K5 manually. And, you know, it's going to take you some time to um, update them if you want to have a lot of the teams updated. If you just want to do your team, go ahead. But I recommend, you know, to try to do as many teams as you can. So you can, it might kind of give you the realistic feel to it. So it can be up to date. You can, uh, if it's only your team, you can update as, as many players you want in your team. And then after that, for the rest of the um, teams, I will show you guys how, to, how do I do it. So we're going to go to roster manager, go to team rosters. And you're going to see that's the original team for the 2004 season. Plus the original um, quarterbacks, I mean the uh, rosters. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Panthers right now. Just No, I'm not a Panther fan, I'm a Niner fan, but I just want to do it real fast. So so the first thing I would like, to, I wish, uh, you know, I'm gonna do is release some of these players. I don't want this guy here, like that. Then you go to, you could go to um, free agents, and you could try to look for a guy that might kind of resemble Newton, you know, might be him, you know, like that. But you think that he doesn't look like, and you don't want him, you could just go ahead and look for a backup quarterback that has no pitcher like this guy right here this thing. assign him to the Panthers right here there it is now you go back to the Panthers look for that dude that we just picked and it's right here so then after that you want to click on his name and go to edit you go to edit and this is where the fun starts then you want to have your phone in your hand and um, Google the Panthers 2019 depth chart and then you click on the quarterback's name, Cam Newton. And it's going to show you a sinful. So once you get a sinful down, you put his first name, last name, like that. There you go. It's number, number one. And I'm guessing he went to Ar Arburn. And you put Arbor. There we go. Then you go to this inf uh, information, personal information. So he's 6'5, 244 pounds. And then you can change his skin color too. We're going to say he's pretty large. And we're going to add medium dark. Medium dark is good for him. So we're going to go ahead and press that. Plus quarterback, quarterback helmet. You could, um, you know, if you really want to go into detail and if he's wearing like, a, you know, put it eye, eye black, smile piece. If he only wears one glove, put one glove. This is only up to you if you really want to have all of that on him. So once you do that, once you do that, you press start, and here comes where you uh, the ratings. And there's there's another one that you could find the rating and it will give you the rating. You could copy the ratings for Madden 20 if you want, you know, or you could do them yourself. But try to do them, as, balance them out as small as you can. Don't try to make a team too superstar because then after that, this takes the fun out of the game. You know, if I could put him as 99, no, like be be realistic, you be real. You know, like let's say I will, I give him an 85. I'm not. This is just. Not hating on him. <laughs> I'm just doing this just to show you guys a little bit. No, agility 85 also. You know, strength. It's pretty strong. Strong dude. Put him at 85 also. All of this 85. Okay. Jumping. Uh, 70. Pass it. Pass it. Crazy. Let's give him um, 85. Arm strength. I will give him a 90 because he's pretty strong. Pass recovery. Another 85. Like that, 85. Scramble, that dude could scramble. So I'm gonna put him at 90. Like that. Leadership, you know, it's pretty good leader. Uh, you know, let's say 80. Like that. Composure, 80. Like that. Hold on to the ball. Mmm, it's pretty big. Hardly pumples. Put him at 70. Like that. Stamina. All of this is is gonna decide your player rating at the end. Spoo stamina 85. I'm just doing this fast. I'm not saying it's like that, but you know, I'm using my phone to record, so I'm just doing it on my head. So there you go. Break a tackle. He could break a tackle. I put 65. It's pretty big. He does, you know, it does that. 
aggressiveness um it's pretty it's pretty aggressive once he gets in the zone up to 65 consistency this consistency is when like his passings will they get there like the more you know so i would say his passes are pretty good i put him at 80 like that like i said balance them out don't be don't do them everybody 99 99 because 99, it's not it's gonna take the fun out of the game that's just me if you want to do it go ahead but it's just me okay so we go per star and then we have them right here so 95 you know and if you think that's too much and you think like nah it's, it's an 80 it's a 90 the most okay so then go press go back to edit bring them down where you think is i put too much of it scramble maybe you no know, maybe it's not that good of a scrambler let's put them a 70 you know arm strength 85 too and then speed you might be like nah it's like an 80 it's too slow okay now now it's a 92 so there you have it that's can anything right there so this is what you want to do for for your edit and do you do the same thing with the running back you look for your running back that might kind of might resemble you're running back right now so let me see let's look for a running back the running back right now is christian McCraft. all right so we look for a guy once again release this guys what i like to do so you know when you're playing your franchise you might see like another team pick this guy up for me that i, I don't want to see these guys in the in the league so what i do i go to edit I don't want nobody to pick them up. They could pick the other guys, the guys that have their no name. That's cool. So I go right here. Speed zero. I don't want to see this guy's face. So like that. Everything zero. Like that. You could, you know, bring everything down to zero, and then you'd be rating twenty-two. Like that, you release them. Like that, when you play in franchise, the computer won't pick them up. Because if not, the computer will pick them up and they will go put them as a starter behind the other teams that you already uh, updated. So you don't want that. So release them. Then once again, we go to free agents, running backs. You want to look for a guy that has no pitcher. But you don't find one right there, you go look for one. There's a lot of uh, teams that have backups that, you know, they're not going to play. So, here you go. This guy right here. See this guy? He has another pitcher. So, you assign him to another t team, and you assign him to the Panthers. Like that. Now, you go back to the Panthers. Go to running back, and he's right there. And uh, the editing starts. So we're gonna go ahead. And we go first name. Same thing you did for the quarterback. You're gonna do the same thing for him. So you're gonna go ahead and put his name. Once again, I'm just doing this out of my top of my head. For you, I recommend you know have your phone in your uh, in your hand. Right now, I don't have my phone because I'm recording. This. <laughs> but I just hope this is the way you spell his name. And this is McCaffrey. Uh, let me see. Number 22. I believe went to Stanford. You know, I'm really light. I'm really detailed. So I, I put all of this. You don't have to if you don't want to. But for me, I just, I just do it. Let me see. Okay. Okay, now we go to his personal details. Uh, he's 5'11", they got that right, 202, I had to bring out my tablet because I don't even remember. <laughs> okay, so it's 204 pounds, it's a light, I'm guessing the lightest is this one here, right there. You could, his body type, normal, you could just change his face too, 
He has no mustache. Give him a, you know, like that. Clean face. Like that, right there. I will assume it's that's him. And dude is pretty, pretty good. You know? So we go to speed, he's pretty fast. Give him a 90, agility, like an 85. Like that. Strength, 80. Once again, this, I'm just doing this really fast. You could do it, you know, if you're a Panther fan, don't, don't get offended. I'm just doing this just to show you guys. Break a tackle, dude could break a tackle. I will give him an 80, you know, 80. Hold on to the ball, 70. Catch, you could catch. So I will give him like a, let's say 70 for catching. Running his routes. I don't want to overhype him too much. I will give him like a 65 maybe. You know, this is just just doing it fast. So go ahead and do that. Stamina. Like that. Do the uh, 80. This is so the injury won't get injured so much. Because if you have it down, it, the, the durability, whatever that's just called, the player will get hurt. And then, you know, you have to wait when you play the franchise. You don't want another. Consistency, how good of a running back he is. You know, let's push 75. Aggressiveness, 70. And boom, you guys still got a 97. And I try not to do it too fast. You know, so once you do that, then you go to your receivers and the fullbacks. You don't want to do the fullbacks. There's players that you don't really want to do, you know. Like you don't want to do, unless you really want to. If not, the only thing you could do, just who's your uh, fullback. I'm looking right here and they have a dude number 40. All you got to do is chase the number 40. That's it. So you, it's because you only have, I, I do this because you only have a little bit of room to edit and create players. So like the players, like the offensive line, the only thing I did, it was just change the the center, just the number. Just look for your center. The center I'm looking at here is like number 61. You know, like that. You know, you don't really have to edit it all of them. Just the best players, I would recommend. You know, you always have to have a running back, a receiver. Uh, your receivers, on uh, my team, I have like three receivers, a quarterback. I'm a Niner fan, like I said, I really have a lot of players edit. You know, and then we go to your tight end. Your tight end, Greg Olson. You know, number 88. You're like, no, he doesn't resemble that dude. So he kind of resembles that dude. Let's just use his picture. No, we just go ahead. 88. Last name. Olsen. Like that. Great. And some uh, names, the computer already... It could recognize them, you know. Like it's, it will say their last name if the if the name is if the last name is already in the game, it will say its last name. So it will tell you auto base, database, whatever. But this one is not compatible. So he went to Miami. I'm not sure if it's right handed or, or, or left handed. So yeah, just like that. Boom. Do the six six. 255 that and dude could catch and it's, it's, it's an awesome player so just the same thing you do to all the players that you really want you know so once you do all of that I know you could make them higher he's, he's, he's higher than that I'm just making this fast you do that to every single player that you want like defense linebackers defensive ends any player that you want you do the same thing but you try to do as many Stars in each team, so you could when you play the team, you kind of have an idea, you know. Don't try to uh, edit every single team with every like, with more than ten players, cause uh, you don't want you won't have enough room to edit a lot. You only have seven, forty-seven players to create, and that's where you want to create the rookies. You go to let's say I don't want to say this. Let me do a rookie right now. Who's a rookie? Then you go. Once you run out of room, it's going to tell you once you run out of room and, and roster manager, you go to player creator to create the rest of the players that you uh, are left. So right here, once you do that, once you cre finish creating a team, you go back and then sometimes you have to you want to save it. You want to save your rosters because uh, 
if you don't save them and you play a, a franchise, the rosters were not saved. Okay, so just to tell you that. Then you go to depth chart. Uh, then you go to Panthers offense. See, even though Nidin is way better, they always they have them in the, as a backup. So you have to go and put every single player that you edited on the starting on the starter starting lineup defense or offense or else when you play the franchise you're gonna see the backup you're gonna go and be going against the backup quarterback and another thing you want to do too is try to delete as many players that have the same number because if you have the same number you don't want that okay so that's it this is just a quick video you know i had to do it i'm gonna show you guys a finish move uh, finish the way i have them so you guys will have an idea how everything is so let's go ahead and do that so this is mine. This is mine already finished. This is my Niners. As you can see, there's I use some of the pictures. They don't really match the player. I just did them just to have them for me. You know, try to do as many as I can. Red Sear, Marcus Goodwin, there you go. Dante Pettit, uh, Debo Samuel, uh, Jordan Matthews. You know, and like I said, look it. I didn't try to make every single, I'm a Niner fan, try to make every single player 99. I try to be as balanced amount as I can. And George Kittle, you know, I even did Stanley, Joe Stanley, you know, he's a 94, defense attack, as many as players again. And the rest, I just changed them to the numbers, uh, just the number, not the name, because I ran out of room, so I did that. Defensive end, the rookie, there you go, it says rookie. Outside linebacker, same thing, same thing. Cornerback, Sher Rich and Sherman, he doesn't look like him, but I just used that dude because he has the hair, hanging hair out of the helmet. So there we go. And that's the Niners, the Bears, you can see the Bears too. Let's go all the way to the front. There you go. Once again, I use this um, picture that doesn't really look like him. Another guy right here, wide receivers, like that. See, it took me a while. It took me a while, but at the end of the day, it's worth every, you know, everything. Over here, same thing. That's Chad Johnson. But I use this picture just to put AJ Green. No. Quarterback. I use that dude as a picture. Look at TCU. I, you know, I use 6 2. I put every info on it. So, yeah. Just to give you guys a, a quick, you know, tip. And if you guys want to use the. Um, what you might call it, um, save some names. There's some names that match some actual players right now. You know? So I'm gonna show you guys that one right now. Hold on. Look at that. Like David Carr. That's not Derek Carr, but it already had the D in the car, so I was like, ah, who's gonna know? That who the fuck is Derek Carr? So I just used this guy. That's his actually his real name. I just edited it. They went to the same college. That's what's crazy about this. They're almost identical. So the only thing that's different is the first name. So I used this guy's picture and info, and I just said a little bit. It. And um, and so you could have more room to to edit. You could just use some guys that already have their name, the name closely. No, like this guy. Look at this guy, Adrian Peterson. Only thing I did was edit, make him better, make him good. This and that. Send him to the Redskins. Make him. People think he might, they might, he might be the real Adrian Peterson, but he's not. I just edited it and make him look like Adrian Peterson. Body wise and everything, you just edit this name, his uh, height, his weight, and all that stuff. So that's just a quick preview. And then maybe next time I show you. And there's some players that are still playing in the league right now that you could just look from, like in the Chargers. Drew Brees was uh, drafted by the Chargers. He was like his fourth year right here. Just sent him to the Saints. Edit them, put them as uh, I think it's a 90 right now, and there you know, it's already uh, you, you save yourself some room and editing. Just put this guy where he's supposed to be, and you should be good. There's a couple of players that are still playing right now, but it's just hard. That if you're really a, a player fan, you will recognize their name and just put them in their team. So, there you have it. So, that's how you update the players. Just give you guys a little tip it's easy to do it on the PS2 original Xbox 360. Like I said, it's just gonna take you a little bit of time, but it's worth it. It's worth it every single you know everything and then maybe i'll make a video next time i'll show you how to um, update the 2019 schedule on 2k5 
once you run uh, run out of room of editing because you will run out of room once you edit it edit it edit teams you go to create a player and you make the rest of the teams rookies everything the players are missing and there you go see i made some players that when once i ran out of room i made them myself created them and you only have 47 spaces to do it so try to make as many as you can and there you have it i hope this video helped you and this is it for now i'm out thanks for watching retro games peace